Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Touch to Technology. Today I am going to show how to install DHCP server on Windows Server 2022. So friends, you may check out to my playlist and you can also watch the videos like that Windows, Linux, hardening related video and many more technical video. So friends, I am going back to our workstation to start this demonstration. So friends, I am in our workstation. So this PC is Active Directory PC. So I am going to configure DHCP on that machine. So first of all, I just unlock this machine. Okay friends, now I am in server manager on dashboard. So I just click on add rules and features. Click on next. So select role based and feature based installation. Click on next. Okay, click on next. So just click on DHCP server, then click on add features. Okay, click on next. Click on next, leave it default. Click on next. Click on installed. So it will take few minutes. Okay friend, installation is done. So now I am click on complete DHCP configuration. Okay, so friend, so these following steps are required to complete configuration of the DHCP server. Click on next. Okay, here is asking the authorization of DHCP server. So friends, I am using the credential of administrator. Click on commit. Okay, so finally he has created security groups as well as authorization DHCP server. So close this window. Okay, close this window. So going to server manager, click on tools. After that DHCP. Okay. Okay friends, I am just double click on DHCP server. Here is two option. IPv version 4 and IP version 6. So I am using IP version 4. So I am just double click on that and right click on IP version 4. Click on new scope. So here is the wizard to create new scope. So I am just click on next. So asking the name. So I am using server LAN. Server. DHCP, click on next. So friend here is asking the IP range, the starting IP range, ending IP range. So I am using 192.168.154.151 and ending 192.168.184.200. Okay, so by default is configured subnet marks that is class C subnet marks 255.255.255.0. So leave it default. So click on next. So friends, here is asking add exclusions. So I am using exclusion IP address is 
192.168.184.151.2 ending IP address is 192.168.184.160 so I am reserving the 10 IP address for my printers and as well as uh, some critical devices so click on next so here is the lease duration so I am using 9 hours because some offices are running 8 hours and 9 hours so I am using 9 hours click on next so here is saying do you want to configure DHCP option for this scope now so yes I want to configure this option now click on next so friend here is asking default gateway so I am using 192.168.184.1 okay click on add click on next so friend by default is taken my domain controller name so that is touch to technology dot local here is the DNS IP address so I am just click on next okay here is the win servers so we are not configure yet so leave it default so activate scope so do you want to activate this scope now so yes I want to activate this scope now click on next finish okay friends so finally the status is showing active so I am just click on scope so here is the address pool address leases reservations everything is here so friend I am using the starting IP address is 192.168.184.151 or ending 192.168.184.200 So friend, next step to configure the DSCP client server. So I am going to our DSCP client machine. So friend, we have taken one template for DSCP client. So I am click on next. Accept the license terms. Okay. Let's go finalize the. Asking the password, we have configured this password and confirm this password. Okay, click on finish. Okay, I just unlock this machine. Okay friends, click do not show this message again. Close. Okay, I'm going to network place by using ncpa.cpl. Okay friends, double click on that. Okay, I just disable and again enable it. Okay, so C friend IP address has been assigned. So I'm just again double click on that. Details C 192.168.184.161 because we have reserved some IP address. So I am going back to our DHCP server. See friend, we have reserve 184.151 to 184.160. So that's why server has assigned the IP addresses 161. Okay. So friend, you can also check from here address lease. 
So right click on refresh. See friend here is showing the IP address and host name. Okay. Okay friend, I'm going back to DHCP client and just try to join the domain. Close, close this. So I'm in server manager, click on local server. Click on work group. Okay, here is the system properties, click on change. So I'm using DH, DHCP hyphen client 2022 domain name is our test2technology.local okay click on okay so friend here is asking domain credential i am using administrator Click on OK. OK friend, here is showing welcome to test to technology dot local domain. Click on OK. OK, here is showing you must to restart this computer to apply these changes. Click on OK. Close this window. Click on restart now. So it will take few times to restart the server. So friend, meanwhile, I am just checking to our domain controller that machine has joined or not. So I'm going back to our Active Directory server, click on Start. Server Manager, then click on Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. Okay, click on Test to Technology, then click on Computers. See friend, here is that computer has joined DSCP hyphen client 2022. Okay. You can also refresh here. So see friend, here name is changed. That is DSCP hyphen client 2022. Okay friends, thank you for watching this video. Hope you like all the videos. And please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon for new update.